Hey John, hey. tell me about the other Terra Preta. Well, the reason why I, I looked this up for people is that I think it kind of got overlooked. So this is uh, a few different scientists here. I think this finally got published in 2012. But what it says is we have our own Terra Preta here in the U.S. They didn't call it Terra Preta, but basically the grasslands of the U.S., the breadbasket of the U.S., is char-based soil. And how they know that is they can carbon date the soil, and it's a specific type of soil that's really abundant all over the U.S. It's called a mollusol. Right here shows you how many parts of the U.S. have it. So this is the percent of land area. So when you get to dark, that's like 78% of the land is mollusols. But you can see it goes up and down the Appalachians, even up the Hudson River, specks up in New York State. And what they found is that those soils in their research paper um, basically they, they say words like uh, virtually all of the nutrient holding capacity was due to the carbon added prior to colonization. And how did it get there? Well, yeah, there were some lightning strikes, but mainly fire was a very prevalent method of managing soil by natives. So they were out there managing this and uh, that increased fertility, better grasslands, better populations of animals to eat. And I just think it's really important that, that people realize that some of the great fertility of this, of this whole North American, you know, the United States is due to management that occurred way before the Europeans showed up.